What's going on everyone? Ranch and like I said, the warped Maestro del Tiempo. Man, beautiful stick here, beautiful stick. Get it right in on there. Couple of little veins. You see that big one running through there? Looking at a triple cap. And this beauty, the original release was back in 2016. Uh, Nicaraguan Puro. Using 100% Agonorsa leaf tobacco. Okay, and that's a 5x1, 4x48 cigar. Okay, and the tobaccos we got here is a Corojo 99 wrapper from Jalapa and a Carrillo 98 and Corojo 99 fillers. Okay, and the, if you're looking at buying a box of these, they come in boxes of 100. So at kind of between a 10 to 12 and some change, you're looking at dropping some coin. Kind of a coca bean with a tobacco scent. spicy on the lips. There it goes. Had to make a second pass at that. Little tight, little tight. I can't uh, can't exactly get anything through there. Sure, hope that's not how it smokes because it looks fantastic. Let's toast it up. Now that light is looking sexy. So we're looking good on that. Let's kind of see what we can come up with. Definitely some black pepper. Yeah, there's some spiciness. Wow. There's a hint of something sweet in there. Something sweet, but can't kind of pinpoint what I got going on. And it's nice because when I took that in dries, I was a little bit nervous because it felt like that dry was going to be tight. But uh, not bad. Not bad at all. We're going to put a little time in on this. Man, we are time. back. Okay. So that is looking nice. And if you see that, I'm going to do a little analogy right now. So you're hanging at the bar and you look over and you're, you're sweet. And you're like, holy shit, look at that. That's a nice piece of ass right there. And you see this girl and you're like, whoo. So then you go, you over, you scurry on over, you talk. And then when she turns around, ugh. So then you rock that 180 back. Oh, look at that. Perfect again. Ooh. I don't know what's going on on that backside. A little flaky on that backside. 
So we're gonna stick with that front. I had, and that first stir came through, um, that smoke was real creamy, texture-wise. Uh, not heavy amount of smoke output, but real chewy, real thick. Um, I had some underlying hints of some unsweetened cocoa. Um, now I'm getting a lot of earthiness, a lot of just real heavy earthiness. A little bit of sweetness, but that burn, it, every once in a while, you know, it'll it'll get a little funk on that burn but then she's back correcting herself not too much longer after that like where that funky ash is right there it was running and then all of a sudden took a couple of fat hits off there and started lighting up and correcting itself so for the most part ash is looking nice tasting good um uh, not super long on the draw, but not short by any means. I'd say I'll hit it, and by the time I'm going to take another hit, then it starts fading away. So, I mean, smoke-wise, I believe it's pretty good um, just for that, you know. So, it's like by the time I want to go take another hit, I'm like, let's see what I got next. Kind of minerally with that earthiness that mineral just kind of just swept right across my lips only a weird mineral mineralesque taste to that but uh i'm gonna throw a little uh throw a little burn time on this see where she goes stay tuned so we're back burns little funk right there that ash fell off and i'm glad it did because it started running pretty terrible again and i had to just uh spark that crazy run up because it was getting all fucked up but uh <clears throat> Some uh, some woodsiness is rolling through that uh, that mineral weird mineral esque flavor is gone. That heavy earthiness kind of went away, and I've got some uh, pretty predominant wood notes. Not like a cedar, but some other type of wood. Not really too up and familiar on my wood notes. I mean, maybe if I was like a fucking beaver, I could be like, oh, well, that <clears throat> hold on, it's. That's California Redwood. Yeah, but <clears throat> I'm not, so it's woodsy. It's woodsy. Couple of times, felt like it almost wanted to go out. So I've been kind of picking up my puff pattern um, I was doing, at first, maybe two puffs a minute. Now I bumped it up to uh, maybe three to four, kind of just to uh, see what kind of feel I'm getting off of this now. Because if you enjoy cigars, you know, it, not every cigar smokes the same. So you kind of got to find that happy medium. <clears throat> That's why I like 
knocking off that ash sometimes right up in the front in that first third just to kind of see how that that's burning if it's coning or if it's not and it's burning straight so that way i'm always pretty spot on with you know how do i adjust my smoking habits from from there kind of wish that uh that black pepper kicked back in that was uh was pretty tasty because it was nice it was like a if you uh if you're a good cook you're you know you like kitchen shit it was like you got the fresh pepper crack grinder that's how that's that kind of black pepper it was it wasn't like that like that cheap fucking black pepper you get in that little plastic container. Da, 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 da. Let's tap that motherfucker. It was good black pepper. That's a motherfucking egg and orsa leaf black pepper. Nicaraguan Puro black pepper. You know what? Getting all the way in this fucking video. Prost, motherfuckers. I didn't even do a prost yet. Felt, I felt like I was doing you guys a disservice because I know if you're out here drinking, smoking, enjoying what what, what I'm doing, you're like, probably like, fucking wrench, man. You, you you forgot about us. I feel like the smoke is kind of uh, the smoke output's kind of dwindled down. Really like to see it pick up just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're going to get down to this double band. See what we got. Stay tuned. So we're back. Fucking thing's running like a. Running like a prom date from a creepy ass dude. Okay, um, that's where I'm gonna put that out. Let that fucking thing rest in peace. Um, I don't, not, not really feeling that, that back end of that, uh, it's real weird, dull wood kind of flavor like. Kind of got to the point where I'm like, if I could imagine, I don't know, maybe chewing on like a two by four from the Home o Depot, uh, that would be kind of like what it's like right now. And it's, I figure I'm close enough to the end where I'm, put that, let that fucker go. Prost. So, um, what can I say about that? My thoughts on that, uh, when it started out originally, the, I'd say the first half of the cigar was, was pretty good. The flavors were good. Um, I put it at, when that black pepper was kicking, she was probably above a medium. When that black pepper went away, kind of kicked down. About a medium strength. Uh, the flavors I would put after that would be below a medium. I didn't think the flavors were bombing like I was kind of expecting with that good Aganorsa tobacco. Um, so I think if for the price between that 10 to 12 bucks I, I, and you got to buy a box of a hundred if you want to buy a box i i did I'm, i couldn't feel it I, I i wouldn't do it um there might be some other people out there who go damn i really enjoy that but you know that's the beauty with the cigars not every cigar everybody's gonna like so not really going to say much more about that one. Till next time.
stay smoky, stay drinking, stay loving each other. Prost. <laughs>